Our Shalom Amakim, all praises, honor, glory goes to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone and peace and blessings to you fellow Akim out there pushing out this word in truth and sincerity. Okay, it's your brother Kanak, and uh, I want to come to you and do a, a quick lesson. Uh, originally, I was going to do the lesson in my car, but you know, I didn't have no uh, cell phone battery, so I'm just going to carry on that spirit. And pretty much is observing, meditating on a, a couple of things and just how uh, this is not our world, okay? This is, uh, in fact, this is uh, Edom's world. This is Edom's rulership, all the way down to the, the low-level Edomite that you see on a corner begging for begging for change. Even though we, what we're seeing right now is a paradigm shift, meaning the righteous are now are going to come into authority under Yahweh Shai. Uh, and the wicked are going, are being rooted out. We understand that. We see that. We, we know that. At the same time, we have to realize that this is still Esau's kingdom. As, as bad and decrepit and ugly and stinky that it is, this is his his kingdom. And he holds uh, certain privileges over you. You know, and Jake, what happens is, uh, you Israelites, you, uh, you, you seem to forget that. Because, you know, uh, Jake is on TV dunking a ball. You know, uh, singing, dancing. You know, Jake is really the stars of this place. Everybody's on Jake vibration. You might even have Israelites dealing with the white woman, dealing with the other nations. But as a whole, you have to understand that we are still, um, if there was a caste system, which there is a, uh, what I would say, uh, invisible caste system that nobody talks about, meaning that there's certain nations that are above other nations. And really how it's supposed to be is we're supposed to be the top nation on the planet earth and Edom is supposed to be at the bottom but right now what's happening is the roles have reversed let me bring out a scripture all right because we're in the upside down world okay this is not this is not how things are intended to be okay which at this particular time they are because this is what the heavenly father this is what he has set up okay he has set up for uh the so-called white man to be over us which is all part of biblical prophecy that's what we have to understand. So when we when we look into the world and we try to grasp and try to uh, 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 find some type of comfort here, we're not going to find it, okay? All right, because you're, you're at the bottom, and that's how these other nations look at you. They look at you at the bottom, even though you're um, you're very good at your skill. You know, there's another scripture. Let me um, let me bring out that scripture. Uh, or skill. Just, just bear with me for one second. Let me bring out this. It's Ecclesiastes. Let me get it in a different version. Slacky. Came up. It's in uh, Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha. Okay. Uh, verse 10 and 30. It says... The poor man is honored for his skill. So really, here in America, you Israelites only get recognition because of your skill. Whether it be uh, singing, whether it be dancing, some form of entertainment, or you're a, you're a good speaker. Okay, you, you can beatbox, whatever whatever skill you can play the guitar. Okay, you can uh, you can act. All right, that that is the um, that is the capacity that these people honor you in. They don't honor you because you're an Israelite. They don't honor you because you are a, 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 a worshiper of Yahweh Shemashai. In fact, you're looked down upon because of that. The poor man is honored for his skill and the rich man is honored for his riches. So Esau, because he has riches and he has the rulership of this world, he gets honored, which you have these other women from these different nations. They'll come and they'll marry an Edomite or they're, they're looking after the average everyday Edomite. He doesn't have to put on nice clothes. He doesn't have to have the greatest hygiene, okay? He doesn't even have to have the best job, but just because he's an Edomite and Edomite, uh, the so-called white man, Esau, when the other nations or anybody looks at him, looks at him, even even our people, they have respects of persons because of who he is. He was able to conquer the whole world, and that falls upon even the average everyday Edomite. So here it is, Jake. He's trying. Jake's trying to find their place in society. You you have no place in society. The only capacity that you have in society is to be an entertainer, okay, and to entertain the Edomite class, whether they be on the bottom 
or whether they be on the top, the elites. Because what? The so-called white man, even though he's at the bottom, he still looks at you, looks at you as a nigga, okay, or a spick or a wetback. He he feels that he's better than you. Even though we, we have to understand the dynamics and that things are changing, but just as a whole, we're still in captivity, okay? So that's why Jake tries to um, find an out in society or tries to get recognition by uh, being a try to be a rapper, a dancer, try, try to be a so-called entertainer because that's really the only the only time you can actually uh, uh, feel feel wanted or feel um, or feel like you're somebody, you know what? That's what they call in the world clout chasing. The, verse thirty one: He that is honored in poverty, so we're honored in poverty, the Israelites. Okay, because we have the spirit. All right, let me. I was gonna bring up this scripture. Uh, give me a second to bring it out. This is Deuteronomy 7 and this is Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So look, the, the Heavenly Father, he has created us to be a special people. Okay? And especially in comparison with uh, Esau. When you read into the story of Deuteronomy, the 25th chapter, it says one people shall be stronger than the other. And that goes to, that goes to all forms of, uh, uh, of society, all forms of life, whether it be physical, spiritually, okay? And it's just a matter of living. It says that Jacob was a what? A plain man. When you go into that word plain, when you go into the, uh, into the, the Edomon or you go into the, the Hebrew, it means righteous or upright. But Esau was a man of the field. And we see that. We see that he's into hunting for sport. He's the only nation that hunts for sport, by the way. All right. It, every all all signs uh, um, point to Esau being or all, all signs. I'd rather point to uh, the so-called white man, the so-called white race being the Edomites. OK, for thou art a holy people unto the Lord, thy power, thy Lord, thy power has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. See, so we are above all people and upon upon the face of the earth not monetarily we don't we don't uh, uh socially we don't we're not there we don't have power because our nation is broken up it's divided in which the most high he is he's um he's he's bringing back the, the house of david as we speak and that's what that's that's why uh uh you see the israelite camp springing up okay particularly with great millstone the ones who have the the the, the, the correct doctrine you see the ruins of David being uh, uh, reassembled. Okay, so now we're coming into our power. So let me go back into um, Ecclesiast Ecclesiasticus. It says, he that is honored in poverty, how much more in riches? So when we get our riches, it's not here. It's not going to be on this side. Okay? You Israelites need to you, you need to get that through your head. Now the Most High, he does throw you certain things here and there. Sometimes you're Sometimes you're going to be in, in, in need of more things than others, monetarily, financially, so to speak. Okay. Sometimes you're even going to be lower in the spirit. All right. Sometimes you're going to be real high in the spirit. Sometimes you're going to be, you know, you're going to have extra money to go out and do other things. Okay. But it says, how much more enriches? So if we're honored here for the great skill. Because look, these other nations they honor us because of how we are. We we went. Uh, they they see us as a nation broken up, and they don't see a well put together Israelite. Whether it be whatever capacity, if you're doing business or you're working with them. And our brothers know that. These other nations, they bug out. And they, they ponder the fact that we're not totally all messed up in the head. But when they walk out outside or they turn on the TV, they see Jake shooting each other. Just being just being a reprobate. Okay, so just just us being in a in a in a in a state of uh of of um well put together is a is is an eyesore in Esau's kingdom because he he wanted us to be all messed up. So so the whole world is honoring us when we are in poverty. So how much more enriches? So when we get when we get when we get our power, the scriptures say, Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. So how much more when we get that power to back up to back up who we are in the spirit. And he that is dishonorable and riches, because Esau, like I was saying, when you when you um when you actually go up, let's read that. 
this is uh, Sirach 10 and 8, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit. The kingdom is translated from one people to another. So that's what's happening right now. So now shameful spewing is being put on Esau's glory. Because at one time Esau was this glorious nation. All right. This powerful nation. Now he look, he's being looked down upon. And what you're seeing is now you're seeing the paradigm shift between Jake and, Jacob and Esau. is because this is all part of biblical prophecy. It says he that is dishonorable and riches. So Esau is dishonorable and riches because he got what? He got riches by deceit. You see how much more in poverty. See, so how much more when Esau gets stripped, gets stripped of that power, the elites, the average everyday Edomite. Because look, the average everyday Edomite is, is, uh, is um, he looked at, he looked at as better than you. That's why Jake, he has to put on the jewelry. He, he has to be all nice and clean. He has to have money to back behind, back behind him. So he has to do what? He has to dive deeper into this world just so he can get recognition. That's all Jake wants. Jake just wants to be recognized. Jake just wants to be uh, recognized as a human. Okay? When this world paints uh, Jake uh, uh, three-fifths of a human, less than, less than a human, an animal. All right? That's why Jake is all messed up in the head. Let me bring out this scripture. Because they're trying to live their life as an Edomite. And you can't live your life as an Edomite. You Israelites, okay? You black, Hispanic, and native, native Indians. All right, just because Esau has that recognition doesn't mean that you can get that recognition. You have to do all type of wicked things. And then even then, you're still a nigga or a spick with money. This is Proverbs 12 and 26. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. So we are we are far better and above the so-called white man and the other nations, even though we don't have the power behind it. But we do. We have the power behind Bashim Asha. We have this word. And that's... That this word in the belief of this of this uh this word through Yahweh Shai, that's going to usher in those riches, okay? Because be through, be, because through that belief system, through that faith, which that's the faith, we're going to inherit an everlasting kingdom, in which the world is going to turn right side up, so to speak. It's going to go back into order. Right now, we have a man that's that's uh set society up totally out of order. And he has broken you Israelites down. He has taken your heritage. So now you don't even know who you are. See, the other nations, the, 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 the elite of the other nations, they know who the Israelites are. That history was never lost. And, and these other nations know, too. They just don't tell you. Those, those things have been passed down. But look how low you Jakes are. So now when you're trying to get back on your feet and this society teaches you what? To please your flesh. You have to dive deeper into the way of the Edomite. And what does that do? That destroys you. In Proverbs 12 and 26, the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduces him. All right, because society, as you know right now, is, is totally backwards. All right. You you got women just running everywhere. That that in society, that doesn't, that's not supposed to be so. And that's one of the main reasons why Jake uh, uh, um uh uh distorts his way or go from the path of righteousness because the women because these women can do that to you in this society you know because esau he he lays that trap and he doesn't care if he he has a choice he, he has a choice women he can either he can deal with a a, a woman if he wants to he can deal with a, a little boy he ha, he has that he has that um he has that option in this society okay you, you Israelites don't have an option. Your only option is to, is to bow down and accept Esau. If you want to, if you want to uh, so-called um, create some type of uh, wealth in the society, okay? But that wealth is is going to be that wealth is going to pass away. That wealth is not going to do anything in a time of trouble. So the illusion of the eyes, the the, the lust of life, the flesh, that 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 right there, because Esau is a, is a man of flesh, that's going to destroy you. OK, and we have to know that this is still Esau's kingdom until until America is totally destroyed. That's when we're going to be able to rest. That's when we're going to get all the pleasures of our heart until here is nothing but vexation of spirit. Because what we have, we see the wicked and great power. This is uh, Genesis 27. And. Uh, 
And 39, And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. Now this is Esau because the, the, the blessing was given unto, the, the principal blessing was given unto Jacob after Esau sold his birthright. So Jacob inherited that, which it was all, it was all in the spirit. Jacob was supposed to inherit it anyway. But Esau wept and he cried to his father Isaac to get a blessing. And, and Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. That's why Esau has a choice land. Every, everything on this earth, Esau has a choice choice at it, even though it's, it's all distorted and corrupted now because of the, the, the wickedness uh, of, of his heart. And he doesn't, he doesn't hold any uh, value to it. He destroys everything, even though, but he still has the fatness of the earth. He still, he still has the, um, the choice women. He still has, he, ha he has got goddamn everything, okay? Which is being ripped away from his hand now. Uh, at the same time, he still has it. Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. So everything choice, everything of a higher quality Esau has. And what do you so-called Negroes have? Huh? What do you have? Oh, he gives, he gives you a couple million for, for bouncing a basketball wall. He owns your ass, okay? There's contracts. You have the right, you have to sign your life away, so to speak, if you want to keep that money or you want to uh, 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 live that lifestyle. Furthermore, when he's done with you, he'll, 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 he'll lowball you. He'll blackball you. All right. He'll say, he'll, he'll trump charges on you. Okay. And furthermore, you're a puppet in this society. You're just entertainment. Like I said earlier, you are nothing but entertainment to the so-called white man. That's the capacity that you so-called Negroes are in. Negroes and Hispanic. Cause just, just say you couldn't dribble a ball or say you couldn't sing. You just be a regular so-called Negro on the street. The, them them fine-ass women from the other nation wouldn't be looking at you. Even your own women from your nation wouldn't be looking at you. Now, now all of a sudden that you got money, you're cute. Now because you drive that, that, uh, that nice car, you're cute. And that's what this world teaches you is that you are only worth the, uh, the amount of uh, 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 so-called things you have. Okay? No, that's not the case. All right, you you are you are judged upon really ultimately if you believe in Yahweh Shema Shai. That should be the standard. But in here, in the upside down world, that's not the standard. The standard is what Esau, because he has the he has the uh, the world. This is his world. He still hold, he still has that clout, so to speak. Just because just because he's the rich man, so to speak. Even though he's not, all Edomites are not rich. But when you look at when. Um, Somebody looks at Esau, they look at Esau, I'm talking about with an untrained eye, a non-spiritual eye, a carnal eye. They look at Esau and they look at wealth. Okay? They look They look at opulence. They look at him and say, look, he's, he's the one who controls the whole planet Earth. Okay? And by thy sword shalt thou live. So this is a man that will live by his sword. And, and this is how he obtained all these things. Okay? He did not obtain these things righteously. He removed the ancient landmark. So that's one thing you got to get in your head. The reason why Esau is in the position that he's in now because he lived by the sword. Okay. And what does the scripture say about living by the sword? You're going to die by the sword. Is that just to go around the whole world and take things, covet things, and kill things? Because you want them? This is the reason why the so-called white man is, is getting ripped out of power. It says because of... Um, it's because of, uh, what does it say in, in Sirach 10? It's because of unrighteous dealings and riches gotten by deceit. See? Because he got it by the force of the sword. All right? Unrighteously. All right? And by thy sword shalt thou live, and thou shalt serve thy brother. So even within his blessing, he has to serve us. So that's coming, in, that's coming to a quick, uh, 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 be, that's coming to a, a, a very quick beginning. Esau serving Jacob. We're going to have his ass in slavery. Right along with the dominion of the planet Earth. Because really it's about dominion. It's not about, oh, I want, oh, I wish I had enough money so I can get this car. Or I wish I had a better job. Or I wish I hit the, the lotto. No, you're still in captivity under the so-called white man. He's still better than you, so to speak. And this society, the only, the, what, when, we gonna, when we find rest is when the so-called white man is in, slave, in slavery with our, 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 uh, our boots on his neck, so to speak, okay? And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion, thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And Esau, excuse me, 
And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. And this is why, okay, on purpose, you Israelites are all messed up because Esau, your brother, your wicked twin brother, he has set this up like this. He has set society up for you to be the poor. And the only way that for you to actually get out of that state of being poor, okay, is for you to sell out, okay, for you to sell out to the spiritual demon Satan, okay, and and pretty much follow the follow the way of an Edomite, you know, which this is, the, hey amen. This is all gonna, this is all soon about to pass away. All right, very quickly. This is uh, Job fourteen and five. Seeing his days are determined, so you have to understand that this. This is not uh this is not going to be forever. Seeing seeing the wicked, all right, uh perverting judgment, okay, uh unrighteous dealings, lying, being hypocritical, okay, said setting Jacob as a fall man. That this is not gonna happen forever, okay? You not being able to get uh, uh uh any 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 good paying job, so to speak, or any or not having the finest women. Not having your woman in control, not having ownership of your children, not have not being able to actually own land and it's be your land. Nobody can come take it away. All this is, has been determined for a particular time that this has to this has to happen to do what to fulfill prophecy. The number of his months are with thee that has appointed his bounds that thou, that he cannot pass. So Esau, he's he's approaching to that that bound. There's only a, a certain amount of months that this guy has left so to speak okay and and, and we're, we're coming into that time we're coming into that time where it's going to be all out war all out anarchy and the most high is going to make known who his men are the most high is going to make known that he's against esau and his kingdom and the other nations okay you know so I, you know that was on my spirit you know i pray that you brothers edify with this lesson you know we're, we're gonna we're gonna receive our um we're going to receive our kingdom very soon. Let me bring out this scripture, actually, you know, because Jake, Jake wants that fame and that glory and that praise, which there's nothing wrong with that. But it's just it ain't, it's not time for us to have that fame and that glory and that praise. All right. That, that's the, the uh, that's when the most high or rather when the most high does all these things, that's when we're going to get it. Meaning when he totally breaks down Esau and he rips him out of power. This is uh, Zephaniah 3 and 19. Behold, at that time will I do all that afflicted thee. Who's when, when is that going to happen? That's that's happening now. Ultimately, when we come into the, when we get into the kingdom, when America is destroyed, and I will save her that halted and gather her that was driven out, and I will get them praise and fame in every land where they were put to shame. See? So that's when we're going to get our praise and our fame. Ultimately, when the Heavenly Father destroys this place. But here... You can't have any praise and fame. All right. These people are so wishy-washy. One minute they love you. One minute they hate you. One minute they want to see you on top of the world. The next minute they want to see you dead in a grave and then talk about you on the Internet. All right. So everything is fake and phony here. At that time, will I bring you again, even in that time that I gather you, for I will make you a name and a praise among all the people of the earth. And right now we are uh, a byword and a proverb. Among all the people on the planet Earth, the Most High is gonna He's gonna do a role, a role reversal. When I turn back your captivity before your eyes, said the Lord, and the and the Heavenly Father, He's gonna turn back our captivity by delivering us from Babylon and setting the uh, the righteous in, in authority. Okay, because it says when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, who's the wicked? Job nine and twenty four. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. When the wicked bear rule. The people, uh, the people mourn. All right, that's why the whole world is in a constant state of mourning, because we have a man, we have the wicked in ruler, rulership, you know, and he ha and he has everything in this world. Okay, he has the choice of everything. All right, and you're not going to get the choice of everything until the kingdom of heaven is established. That's why we're so adamant of pushing out this word until the Most High comes back and destroys this place. Okay, so you know, I pray that you brothers edify this lesson. Until next time, shalom.